Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I am so excited for today's video. Today is Saturday. Jeremy and I already went to the farmer's market with Otis, and it was so much fun. I don't know if it's just me, but I love it when people want to pet my dog. I just think it's the cutest thing in the world for him to get pets and to be lovey, and it's just so sweet. So we went to the farmer's market and I got some roasted cashews, so good. And um, then we came back home. We just finished eating lunch. We got some bubble tea and now I am off to Second Avenue. I don't really need to go today, but I found so many good things the last time I went with my friend Liz that I'm like kind of just like anxious and ready to go back and see if I can find some more cool designer pieces. So we're heading to Second Avenue today. I know you guys love it when I take you with me. So we're gonna go together, go thrifting together. And then I'll show you guys what I find when we get home. I always am looking for home goods for Jeremy and I's house. I'm always looking for clothing to resell. I wanna hit up the shoe section today. So there's a lot to do. We're gonna have fun. I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's head to Second Avenue. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, through the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step back. A time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts, so stay away from all the shit cause it's temptation. I know that I like to do it cause it's sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Okay, friends, we are back home, and I literally <laughs> had such an amazing thrift haul, thrift with me time at Second Avenue. I found so many pieces. My first time finding lots of different brands and I bought so many things. It was insane. So I have two huge bags of items that I purchased to resell on Poshmark, on eBay, on Mercari. And I'm really excited about so many of the things that I found. I found some good home goods as well. So we definitely have a great thrift haul to jump into. My pile is on my desk chair and it's so high it's a little bit ridiculous like i'm gonna have a lot of work ahead of me to get all of this pictured and listed but it's gonna be worth it because i'm really excited about all these pieces and guys i feel like i freaking hit the jackpot on dresses i only went through three sections at the thrift store i went through jeans then i went through shoes and then i went through dresses and i was there for like three hours so um i only got through those items and then i had to head home but just in those three categories, I found so many goodies. Oh, so let's jump into what I picked up. I just wanted to pop in here real quick, guys, and talk about the sponsor of this portion of today's video, which is Vendu. And I absolutely adore working with Vendu because they are such an invaluable resource to me and my business. They are so helpful in 
cross posting items that is the main thing that I use them for if I would have done this big of a haul a few months ago it would have been extremely overwhelming to me but because I know that I can cross post everything that I haul today on all of my different marketplaces with just a few clicks of the button like I am so much less worried about the work that goes into reselling all these pieces and also the one of my favorite things about using Vendu is that I can go in and automatically delist from all of my different marketplaces when something sells on one of them. So instead of me having to remember to go to every marketplace, make sure things come down, to get rid of offers and all of that jazz, I just go into Vendu and I click which marketplace my item sold on and then it automatically delists it from everything else just like that. It's so easy. So I'm so grateful that they are working with me on today's video. And I just want to say that it is a great investment in your business. If you haven't given them a try, you can use my link down in the description box to try them out for free. And that also helps to support my channel as well. So if you have been considering trying them out, you can try them out completely for free. Give it a go. Try it out with a few items. See if it works for you. And if it does, then build it into your workflow for the next few months and see how it really does increase the sales and also just makes your life a lot easier. I'm all about making your life easier and making more sales. So thank you Vendu for working with me. But now let's get back into the haul. I'm going to show you guys one of the things I'm most excited about first because I just can't contain it. I'm so excited. They are not in perfect condition, but this is my first time ever finding a pair of birdies. And these are so cute. I think that these are adorable. There is the logo. Oh, it's upside down. There is the logo for you. These are a pair of their slide on shoes and birdies are pretty well known for having this like quilted bottom to their shoes. They're really well made. And this is a really cute slip on pair of kind of more like mules, more moccasin kind of like with this kind of raised velvet, more like cheetah print going on. These are in great condition. The bottoms are in really good shape. There's just a little bit of like wear to them from where you would expect to have them like on the heel. Um, these are in a size seven and a half. <sighs> and the really exciting part was these were marked at $2 and 99 cents, right? And because every time I go to this thrift store, I spend at least like a hundred bucks. I got 10% off, 20% off of everything. So I paid less than $3 for these shoes and I'm expecting to resell them right around $50. There's a lot of sold comps right around 50 bucks. They are adorable and I'm expecting them to not sit very long because I don't see very many birdies listed on Poshmark. Um, so hopefully we'll get about 50 bucks for that. In total for everything, I paid $130, I'm pretty sure. So this will make back almost half of that haul already. And these are so cute. I'm so excited. My first time finding birdies. I felt almost like when I found uh, Rothy's for the first time. It's the same kind of feeling. <laughs> And then next up, we have another piece that is my first time finding this brand. I held up this, I saw the sequins and sequins are pretty um, on trend right now. People are looking for sequin dresses. I found this cute little purple sequin dress and it doesn't look like a lot <laughs> when you just see the dress. But then I looked and inside, this was an Alice and Olivia dress. Again, first time finding this brand. I see other people find it and some pieces from this brand can go for hundreds of dollars. Like they don't feel like they're that like insanely high quality, but it's a popular brand and some of their pieces can do really, really well. Now this is in a size zero, so it's a smaller dress, but I did find the stock photo of this and a couple sold comps already for this little dress and some of them sold for $65, some for 75, some for a hundred. So this was definitely worth grabbing. And I thought this was just so exciting to find so many brands that I have been looking for, but that I haven't been able to find all on one thrift trip. So I thought that was kind of fun. It does have those straps and then we have a zipper up the back. So this is definitely a brand I'd be on the lookout for. Definitely always look up your comps before you buy, but Alice and Olivia, first time finding it really excited about it. So excited about that one too. So I love going to this thrift store and I also find that a lot of my viewers, you guys come there too. So if you see me there, you guys gotta make sure you say hello because I would love to meet more of you guys in person. I find that to be so fun. So 
that was a good find. And also this is featured in my first ever Instagram reel that I just posted today. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should go and follow me. The friendly reminder that I'm over on Instagram too, but that was that piece and I'm so excited about it, obviously. Then I found this pair of jeans. Now the colors that were on sale this week were green and blue. No, green and orange, green and orange. Green was 33% off and orange was half off. I didn't see a lot of orange, but I did see quite a few. Oh, this is orange. Never mind. This was half off. So this is a pair of J. Crew jeans. And I have sold a few J. Crew jeans that I've picked up from the same thrift store. And I've only gotten them when they're really cheap, but they sell pretty quickly. And I don't try to list them very high either, but they'll sell for like around $35. This was a really cute pair. And I found some things that I'd sold in this exact style from J. Crew for $40 pretty recently, so I thought they would worth they would be worth picking up. They're from J. Crew in a size 25, and they're the vintage straight jean, which is a very popular style right now. So these are in great condition, literally look like they've never been worn, and they were $6.79 but half off. So I paid less than $3 for these with my discount too on top of this. So for two or three bucks, I would definitely pick these up in the bins. And so I thought they would definitely be worth picking up from this thrift store. So for those, hopefully we'll sell them around 35, 40 bucks. And then I found this dress and I've only ever found one Bowdoin dress before, but I found two today. So this one is a little striped dress. It's just like a kind of Jersey cottony kind of feeling dress, a little bit stretchy, but it's a nice striped dress from Bowdoin. And then it's in a size US four. And this was marked at $11 which I would not pay for. It was green, so I got it for like eight bucks plus my 10 or 20% off. So I paid like around five or six dollars for this dress, which made it worth it. Especially since even just like a thin dress like this from Bowdoin, I saw was reselling around 50 bucks. So for that amount, I thought it would definitely be a good pickup. And hopefully I'm able to sell it for at least 50, 50 dollars. I'd be happy with that. And then I have a pair of Adriana Goldschmied jeans and these are the Stevie Crop Slim Straight Crop jeans. I just sold a pair of Stevie Roll Up jeans for I think $40 this last week. So for finding a pair that was a little bit cropped and the same kind of style and they were on sale. So these were 33% uh, off of $6.79. I paid less than four bucks for these. I said, okay, if I know that that style of right sold for me, I should pick it up again, probably. So I grabbed these and I do enjoy selling Adriana Goldschmied AG jeans. I think that they do pretty well for me and people just kind of know their size in them normally. So I grabbed these and these are in a size 27, which is a pretty good size. So grabbed those, hopefully we'll resell these around 35 to 40. And then we have a piece that I'm so excited about. I've only found one Peruvian connection dress in my life before, but I found two at the thrift store today and I, they were not marked up and that just, this thrift store is notorious for marking things up. And I just felt like I had the best luck today with finding good deals. This is a Peruvian connection dress in a size extra large, which is amazing. And this is what the tag looks like. Peruvian connection. These are really well-made pieces and this is an excellent condition and it was only six dollars and 29 cents So I paid less than five bucks for this probably and this is a maxi length. Maybe midi. Let me look I would say Depending on how tall you are, it's probably supposed to be maxi. It'd probably be a little bit midi on me But it's so pretty. I'm tempted to wear this once before I sell it because it is my size but this is just such a nice long dress with like no sleeves, but even things that are like this, that are just kind of a plain dress from them can resell around 60 to $75. So definitely worth picking up for about $6. And this is 100% Pima cotton. Such a good find, really excited about it. This is the theme of today's video. I'm so excited about everything I found. <sighs> deep breaths, Becca, deep breath. Guys, I'm just excitable. That's just who I am and that's okay. Now, this next piece is a pair of jeans, and I think I might have seen these the other day when I was in there, but they weren't worth buying, except today, they were 33% off. These are a pair of DL 1969 jeans. So these are sold at Anthropology, and these ones are the Florence Insta Sculpt cropped jeans in a size 27, and they're just like a nice pair of blue, kind of 
skinny jeans with a distressed raw edge hem, which I think is really cute. I would totally wear these. I think they're adorable. And they were 33% off of $6.79. So probably less than four bucks for those as well. And I should be able to resell those probably right around 35 to 50 bucks. At least that's what I'm going to hope for at the end of the day. So again, a nice cute pair of jeans. I found a lot of good jeans at good prices. A lot of jeans were there that were great, but were marked up. These ones were not, so I grabbed them. And then they had just rolled out a new rack. And on the new rack, I was so excited. I've only bought figs scrubs once before. I bought them for my dollar thrift challenge and they resold really quickly. I found two pairs of pants at a Goodwill. This is my first time finding them since, but I was excited to do so. I have a figs scrub top here and figs just makes really nice high quality scrubs. This one is in a size extra small for the top. It was $4.99, so maybe I shouldn't have grabbed it. I feel like that is kind of a lot for um, reselling at least, but I knew that they usually sell pretty quickly. There's a pretty fast turnaround. So I grabbed that and the matching pair of bottoms. Now, these are in a different size, unfortunately. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell them together. I'll probably sell them separately, but they're both a navy blue. One is in a size medium, medium petite perhaps because of that P right there. So they're super nice, really well made, and they just have so many nice little details on them. And then this is the little logo that you can see sometimes sticking out when you're looking in the scrub section. So be on the lookout for that little like plus, has a little bit of a swoop to one of them. I would be on the lookout if you are one of those people that likes to resell scrubs. This one is a good one to be on the lookout for, and they resell right around $35 to $40. And then next up, I found this dress. Now, this is a brand that I just talked about in one of my What Sold From videos that hadn't sold from my other hauls, except for the dress from this brand. So this is Lafayette 148, and I know a lot of people have trouble moving it, but this was such a good price, and it's new with tags, that I decided to pick it up it is this really nice silver gown, and it's probably about knee length. It's in excellent condition. It's never been worn, it looks like. It has a little slit there on the back. Just a very nice structured piece. This is in a size 16, and it is new at tags, and the suggested retail price was $398. So it was a $400 dress that was marked at $20, but orange was half off today, so I got it for less than $10. For that amount, and for it being new at tags, originally $400, I thought, okay, if it wasn't new at tags, I probably would have left it, but since it was, I decided to grab it, and this feels like it's an interesting fabric. I wonder if this is silk. Yeah, I definitely should have checked this before I bought it, but it is 100% silk as well. So it's 100% silk, new at tags, really nice brand, and a really good piece. I feel like this would be really cute for a mother of the bride. I think that's a really nice dress. So grab that, paid less than $10, and hopefully the last dress I picked up from them was not silk and was not new with tags, and I sold it for around $50 or $60. So I'll probably try to get at least around $100 for this dress, which I mean would be great and would pay for the rest of the haul. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. We'll see what happens. Then this next dress I picked up is another new to me brand. If you guys know this brand, let me know because I had not heard of it, but I could tell from this tag that it looked like a high quality brand and I really enjoyed the color. So I decided it was worth looking up. This is from Jude Connolly. It was orange, so it was half off. So I paid less than $6 for this dress. And it is this beautiful, really vibrant. This is like an orange. It might look a little red on camera compared to the pink but it's an orange and pink, really vibrant dress. And from what I could tell, the dresses like this from this brand that we're selling were ones that were more similar to this, where it was a bright color, something special about it. And I thought that was a really cute dress. I love the color scheme. I think it's really cute. It's in a size small, made in the USA, and it's a really nice fabric. It's 80% nylon, 20% spandex, but it's a little bit stretchy, but it's also double lined and it's really like, thick and it feels really good. So I grabbed this and I looked up comps in the store and it looked like they were selling right around 50 bucks for a dress from this brand quite often. So I'll probably list around 50, 65, maybe a little bit more and then hope to make around that $50 amount for Jude Connolly. We'll give it a try. I'm excited to try out some new brands 
and I feel like I should be trying out new brands from the bins instead of from an actual thrift store where I had to pay up, but at least it was half off and then I had another discount. So we're giving it a go. We're gonna see what happens. I think it's really pretty though. I think that's a really good color combination and that's really in right now. So we're gonna give it a try. And then we have another pair of Adriana Goldschmi jeans. <laughs> These ones were also on sale, $6.99 green tag. So more like four bucks. These are the Olivia skinny boot cut. And I think I looked these up and they were around the same amount. Like hopefully we'll sell them for 35 to 40. And again, just another pair of jeans. Jeans are pretty easy for me to store. I used to hate to sell them. Now they're one of my biggest sellers. So take that how you will. But these are in a size. Oh no, the size tag has been cut out. Crap. Oh no, no, no. Oh, that's so frustrating. Hopefully they're the same size as the other one. I'm gonna compare them. Mm. I definitely did not check these very thoroughly because I would not have picked these up without a size tag because that is like a reseller's worst nightmare. <laughs> Having to figure out what size something is. What a bummer. Oh well, that's okay. I'll figure it out. We'll still get it listed, hopefully. <laughs> okay, next up is this gorgeous dress. And this is from Anthropology. It's from Maeve by Anthropology. Look at this dress. I think it is so pretty. It's a gorgeous color scheme with purple and pink. They have an orange in there as well. It's this kind of more like lace cut out detailing, eyelet detailing over a really nice pink underlayer. So the first pink underlayer is more like a very see-through organza kind of feel and then we have another layer. So it's a really nice and flowy feeling dress. We have a zipper here on the back such a pretty such a pretty dress but this is in a size 14 from Maeve and whoever bought this bought this from Marshalls so this is new without tags which is great um but this is what the tag looks like sold at Marshalls so that's why it has the line through the label but such a pretty little dress I think that this should do well I'm sure I can find a stock photo for this with my reverse image searching because it is so unique looking. I think that this should do well. I probably can resell it, especially since it's new without tags. I'll probably be able to resell it around $75. That's what I'm gonna hope for. There are literally so many good things to share with you guys from this haul, like I can't get over. As I pick up each new piece, I'm just like, oh yeah, I forgot about that because there's so many of them, you know? This is the second Peruvian connection dress. So this one has adjustable spaghetti straps and it again is a just kind of more like plain black dress. This one's probably more like knee length, just really nice, really soft and good feeling dress. Also in a size extra large. So Peruvian connection, size extra large, made in Peru. And this one again, it's gotta be a mixture of Supima cotton because it feels so nice. And yes, yeah, so this is 49% Pima cotton, 47% modal, and 4% spandex. So this one is a little bit stretchier. Definitely is so nice still, and definitely makes me wanna wear it. <laughs> so this one was marked at a dollar more than the long one, which I wonder if they were just, they came in together and then they accidentally put this one's tag on this one instead of that one, you know? Um, but $7, still definitely worth it. I paid less than that, and for both of them, I mean, I can probably resell both of them for around 50 to 60, $75 right in there. So grab that one too. And then this one is a very interesting dress. I, again, I found so many dresses. I put back so many dresses I would probably normally pick up just because I had already found so many at this point and it was becoming quite a bit, like a little bit too many dresses in my cart. And so I was a little bit more thorough with dresses than I normally would be just because I found so many. But this one is a really fun one. And this is gonna be really hard to show, but here is the bustier top. And then it has these little ties on the back. So it ties in a bow with two different ties coming together from each side. We have a little bit of like a stretchy waistband. So there's gonna be a cutout right here at the back, but then it flows out into a great and really kind of Hawaiian-ish skirt. It's really, really long. And then it also has these cutouts. So we have the paneling, this is difficult to show. So this one has, it has paneling down here. So there's lots of different panels for the skirt itself. And this is from Free People. So I know I have some Free People experts out there. If you guys know what the name of this one is, 
that would be really helpful. So this is from Free People in a size small. And it's just a really cute, very, very Hawaiian-ish little like halter top dress. Does this help? It's so small, I can't get it over my glasses, but does, it, does this help? It kind of hurts. Not worth it, why did I do that? So then next up I have a pair of shoes. And I had a pair of Diane von Furstenberg shoes in my cart. And I'm glad I looked up comps because those I thought were definitely a yes until I looked up comps. And then I realized that these ones were actually probably going to sell for more than those, which was a shocking development to me. These are a pair of Donald J. Pliner little kind of peep toe heels. They're really interesting. They have a suede-ish like fabric-y feel to them. And there is the logo, Donald J. Pliner. And these are in a women's size six. They're in good condition. Even like the little heel part right here still has a lot of good wear on it. They're not really falling apart. And it looks like these are in the Ming, Ming style. So I thought that these were a good grab and these were only marked at $4. The shoes were very reasonably priced. If I did not already pick up so many dresses and other things, I probably would have grabbed more of the shoes that I had in my cart. But I just didn't wanna to go too crazy. I don't need that many items to resell. So I thought that these were a really cute pair of shoes and the comps looked like they could resell right around 50 bucks, maybe 40 bucks. So grabbed those for $4, paid less than that, maybe around $3 for them. And we'll hopefully make 40 bucks at the end of the day. And then we have the other Bowdoin dress that I found. Very reasonably priced. This one is less expensive than the last one, I think. But this one is so cute. I am obsessed. This is a black, I think like denim dress from Bowdoin. Now, it has those pockets on the front here. If it's a denim, it's like a stretchy denim. Like a comfy black sort of denim. And then I love the little ribbons on the zipper pull on the back. I think that is really nice. It's just kind of like a little sheath dress. It reminds me of like a 20s style little dress. I think it's really cute. And this is from Bowdoin in a size US 6. So I'm assuming that the same person that donated that last Bowdoin dress also donated this one as well. But $8 for this dress, I paid less than that for it. And it's 98% cotton and 2% elastane. So just, I think that I'm right. It's like a stretchy denim-ish feel to it. So it's really nice and structured, but it's also gonna be comfortable and have nice darting that will hold its shape. So that was a great pickup. And again, hopefully I can resell it right between 50 and $75. That's where a lot of the Bowdoin dresses I was looking up were landing. So happy with that one. And then this one I originally picked up for me, but then I decided, I don't know if it's really my style. So I think I'm gonna resell it, but it is another anthropology dress. This is from Anthropology's Saturday Sunday brand, and it's in a size large. So this is what the tag looks like. This little like line from Anthropology generally makes more like loungy kind of outfits and things like that. But this was very different for anything I really see from that line usually. It's got a nice little ruffle there at the bottom, and then it's this really fun purple and pink contrast dress. It is a little bit more casual than like some of their other dresses, but it has these ties on the side. I thought it was so cute. And for a maxi length dress from Anthropology, I felt like it was a good pickup. I like the double straps here, slight V-neck, really beautiful color scheme and fabric. Like I'm really liking this pink mixed with other colors for this coming like fall. And this was marked at $10, but I paid less than that. So probably, you know, about $8 for this dress. From Anthropology, I'm sure originally this cost at least a hundred bucks. And maxi dresses from them generally tend to perform pretty well for me. So I'm hoping to sell it right around 75 again at the end of the day, maybe 60, somewhere in that area. But it's a great size, great piece, beautiful color scheme. And again, this color scheme will make it easy to reverse image search it and hopefully find a stock photo, which will help me show it off better. So that's my plan for that one. Now definitely stay tuned to the end because I'm trying to save one of my favorite pieces for the end and it is so good. And again, one of my first times finding the first time I've ever found that brand. So I'm saving that piece for the end. This is also my first time picking up this particular pair of Levi's and I pass on a lot of Levi Strauss jeans, but I found my first pair of wedgie jeans, a wedgie skinny jean in a size 26 that was actually not marked up so incredibly high that I could afford to pick it up to resell. 
So these were marked at $6.79. I know that a lot of wedgie jeans from Levi sell for people around that $40 to $50 mark. So I'm hoping to make at least $35 off of these. And I think these are really cute. They have some distressing on them. They're in great condition. I think that these should do well. They feel so nice. They don't feel like they've like ever been used or worn. There's no wear on them, no stains. So that was an epic find. Really excited about those. And then we have this dress, which again is one of my favorite bread and butter brands. Is this kind of faux wrap style dress with this kind of fun burgundy floral print. We have a slit here on the side and ruffles going on on this. And this is from Lulu's in a size large. So there's the Lulu's tag in a size large. And this was an orange tag. So it was half off of $11. I paid less than $5 for this dress. That's a, probably about how much I would wanna pay for Lulu's dress. I resell them quite often actually, right around $35 to $40. So paying $5 or less is pretty much where I kinda of wanna land usually. But they are a really good reseller for me and I sell them pretty frequently. So um, I grabbed that one for about five bucks. Hopefully we'll sell it around 40, 50. I feel like I might've sold this exact dress before. Don't quote me, but I feel like it rings a bell. So I thought that was a good pickup. Again, that dress section was popping. And then we have, I think this is the last anthropology dress I found, but I wonder if somebody donated their collection. Honestly, that makes sense. Cause I found that one anthropology dress that was a 14, the size large anthropology dress. And then this one also in a size 14. Now this is from their brand Moulinette Sewers. And it's this gorgeous little floral dress has a slight v-neck, again, same style as that other anthropology one I showed you. I think they both were v-necks. I feel like the same person donated their collection. But it's this nice blue, little navy blue dress. It has some smocking here on the back, and then it has pockets, but also just flares out into this beautiful kind of floral landscape, which is so pretty. And this tag from anthropology is definitely a nice one. I definitely always, when I see this, I just am like, oh, that just screams quality to me, you know? <laughs> so this is a green tag. It was supposed to be $14, but I got it for 33% off. Now, this is the only sad thing. The inside tag that tells the material has been cut out, but I am fairly confident that this is silk. This feels like silk to me. So even if I don't put 100% silk in the listing, I'll definitely put silky. Now this is a dress I tried on for myself and it almost worked. I just needed it to be like a little longer, I think. Um, I have a long torso, I'm tall, so it didn't work for me, but I had to pick it up. It's so cute. This is from J. Crew. It's in a size medium, which is probably why it did not fit me perfectly. Um, but it is this gorgeous ruffled sheer dress. It's gonna be hard to see, but there's a ruffle layer right there, one right there, and then it's a puff sleeve dress in this gorgeous fabric. Lots of little floral blooms. It's blue, it's purple, and such a gorgeous little piece. I'm obsessed. It's stretchy right there and on the sleeves from J. Crew in a size medium. And I think it's just, it's just polyester, but it was only marked at $7, so I decided to grab it I have been having good luck with J. Crew lately, and so I thought it would be at least worth a try to give this a resell. And I just personally love the style of it. So I'm probably gonna list this right around $50. That's where I generally list dresses from J. Crew, and it's such a cute style. I'm hoping it'll go. And I do think you could wear this at a variety of different sizes based on the construction. It's really cute. It's a little bit short and flowy. I love it. I wish it fit me, but I'm going to give it a new home. So that is exciting. And I picked up two different pieces of home goods and I am obsessed with them. The first is this picture that's in this frame. The last time I went to Second Avenue, I picked up this gold frame and I didn't actually end up showing it to you, but this was $2.99 for the frame itself. But I picked up this print that's inside the frame at, th at the Second Avenue this time I went. And it's not just a piece of paper, it's like an actual hard, almost like cardboard feeling print, but it's Blue Boy, it's a famous painting, and it was 99 cents and it was pretty old. So I put it in this frame and I kind of dig it. I feel like it's kind of a vibe and it goes with the other picture I picked up. So it was 99 cents for the picture, 2.99 for the frame. So in total I spent what, 3.99? for this, which I think is beautiful. And also I just really 
like things that are a little vintagey, a little bit more different than the mass produced art you can find like at Target or Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that. And then this other piece <laughs> I think is so cute. I love gold frames and just wooden frames in general that have ornate detailing. And then guys, look at this. It's a pair of bunnies. I just think it's so cute. This was $3.99. So for $3.99, I got both of these pictures and I just thought these would look so cute in my gallery wall down in my filming room with my other pictures that look very similar that are older or painted and have ornate frames. I think that's a vibe. I love it. Wouldn't this look so cute together? So $8 for those. Like, and you could pay like $25 to get something that was mass produced at Target. Mm -mm. Go to the thrift store first, guys. Go to the thrift store first. And then real quick, I found a pair of shoes for my mom. She wanted a pair of Clarks. I found her a pair of Clarks for four bucks. Not bad. And then we have two more pieces. This piece, I don't know if it's gonna resell, but I'm obsessed with it and I could not leave it there. So this is the piece I grabbed. It is a vintage Saks Fifth Avenue dress. It is so beautiful. It's a gown. It's this black velvet with a drop waist ruffled skirt. Look how cute this is. It has three tiers all layered with this black, very like see-through, just more of like a tulle kind of layer. But then on the tulle are all these little red hearts that are velvet. Tell me that that is not the most beautiful dress. <laughs> I think it's stunning. It is so good. It's very 80s to me. I wonder if it was sold in the 80s. I think it's stunning. I am obsessed. And it's from Saks Fifth Avenue. Definitely a vintage Saks Fifth Avenue dress in a women's size 12, which is a great size. So USA size 12, height 38 inches, UK size 14, European size 40, and it's a 50% polyester, 50% viscose little dress. So I got it for less than 10 bucks. It has little velvet straps, this gorgeous dress. Look at how beautiful, like, I'm sure this was originally hundreds of dollars. And then it has this zipper on the back. This is a stunning vintage piece. I love vintage. I just find so much value in it. I love vintage styling in my home. I love vintage clothing. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed. I have no idea how much I'm gonna resell it for, but I would love to be able to sell it around $100. I'll look it up, see if there's any comps for something similar. It's just like the tears are what gets me. It's so pretty. Oh, what do you guys think? Is it as pretty as I think it is? I think, it, I think it's as pretty as I think it is, but let me know what you guys think. And then the last thing that I found is a brand that I'm constantly seeing other people pick up and I've never found it in real life until today. And that is Flax. So I was really excited and it was not marked up. This was in the dress section, even though it's not a dress, it was marked at $8. And it's this gorgeous 100% linen, kind of long sleeve. I would call this maybe a jacket. It has buttons all the way down the front. They're all there. They're just not all buttoned right now, but it's 100% linen. And this brand just makes some really nice pieces. It's in a size small. I think this brand is notorious for running oversized but it's such a nice piece and in great condition. There's no flaws. And just look at the texture of this. Like, I love things that have a great texture to them. This definitely has amazing life left in it. And it's such a fun color. And this is my first time ever finding flax in real life. So this brand has a good resale value if you ever find it out in the wild, but also this should sell for probably around at least 50 bucks. So it's not even my most high price probably sale of the video, but it's something that I've been wanting to find and was so excited to find. This and the birdies, they were so exciting for me. So found this nice little button up, I would say jacket, I guess you could wear it as a dress. It probably is, oh, it's definitely long enough to be a dress. So maybe it is a dress, hmm, I'll have to look it up but such a good piece. We'll sell it for at least 50 bucks. And now I just feel like I found so many good pieces. It's such a good video. If you guys liked it, let me know. And thank you again to Vendu for partnering with me on today's video. If you guys want to give them a try, then you should go to the description box and click on my link and you'll be able to try them out for free and also support my channel. If you are interested in Vendu and just making your life easier at all, make sure to check it out.
But those are the pieces I grabbed today at Second Avenue. I had such a good time. It makes me wanna go back again today, but I need to get through these pieces and list them before I can go back. So now I'm gonna go and try to take pictures of things, get them listed so you guys can purchase them if you want to directly from my Poshmark. The link is in the description as always. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.